Yeah. Yeah. We're, 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 we're videotaping it though. Okay, I, exactly. Watch this cool. Man, I love you. <laughs> You guys know there's to be like Bob when we unlock and Tom we don't want us to do so you just keep that in mind. So, for those of you who chose the car, which is the majority of you, once you each other around the top point, we're going to switch sides. So, we're on the left hand side now, we're going to act, you'll be on the right, and vice versa. So, please don't worry, you're going to see both sides of you. So, let's reach everyone's first time on the arrow car. Yes. So my name is Ryan, wish us the best of luck, and only 15. <laughs> I'm not even old enough to have a driver's license. Look at the right hand side of the car is the Niagara River. These rods are going to take you up 35 to 40 kilometers an hour. And for this water, just over 170 million liters per minute. These rods are classic rapids. Classic rapids, they speed, fast motion, rapids in all North America. So you definitely don't want to go swimming. One is very, very legal. And two, it would end up becoming a one to make some experience. Once you get on there, of course, you're not going to be coming back up. So it's not a winning situation there. Well, from the American the cars with the right hand side over there. That is the motherland, the United States of America. Hooray! You may notice a few people cross the top, cross the chain link fence, they're in a World Pussy Park in Niagara Falls, New York. For all those scared of heights, you might not want to listen to this part, as right now we're 200 feet above the water. At each other point, though, we're 250 feet, so that's even worse. The depth of the whirlpool in the middle is 126 feet deep, and along the edge of the drilling deck, 35 feet deep. It's about a seven second drop time through the middle of the water, so don't worry about time to think about it. <laughs> My friend is also the guy for me has tested out. As far as I'm me today, not him. I'm just joking, no one's ever fallen in, accidentally. Just a reason for me the first time, very, very sad. You may notice this water is more of a green extent than normal blue we're all used to. It's because the high lows lines still in and around the water. Basically what happens, water rushes over these rocks, such a vast space, a do 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 rubs off on the and splashes splash in the water. Hope you guys do it in the sound effects, I'm practicing. <laughs> Looking on the left hand side of the car is the whirlpool. Wow, wow, it's water. It's moving in a counterclockwise direction at this time of the day, because the power plants aren't running as much water to generate electricity. In between the hours of 12 a.m. and 8 a.m., however, the power plants convert more water. This lowers the room about 20 feet, and it will switch directions to a clockwise flow. As we come to the other end of Tom's point, we're not going to nod her off here briefly because there's no way to get off, so please not try. There's also going to be a slight bump, we stop, and another one with some distractions. I promise it's normal, I'm not a bad driver, don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to tell ask for everyone's attention, please. If you want to see the other side faster, please pay attention. For those on the right hand side of the car, which is side over here, you're coming down towards me, behind me, and on to the left. For those that are already on the left hand side, which is side, you're walking up and over to the right, so I don't see both sides of you. 
it's the top left one, bottom right, the bottom right is going to end up in the top left, bottom left one, top right, top right one, and bottom left. Confusing, I know, I like it that way. One day clockwise rotation, if you live that digital clock, then sorry, you're on your own. You guys start walking now, please. For those in the middle, you can do a spin if you're included. <laughs> Quads on the outside. Huh? Okay, there you go. Okay. Switch. Okay. Switch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we were allowed to do this. <laughs> that would make sense. Look at me behind us inside that tunnel. It's a big steel box. That's your box there. Our car is a rescue car. The rest car is for everything in case emergencies we break down and we have no other options to get back. We can use it during the cell back. Save us to the shoreline. Although to be very, very slow, it only holds to five people one time. In my opinion, though, it's a way better idea than being stuck in the middle all night long. Especially when no one's here rather than not stop talking. I'm sorry, that is me. Thankfully, though, we've never had to use it in a real emergency. And I really don't plan on ever using it. So please don't press those red buttons. Or we would be stuck here for a long time. Huh? But there's well, always a first for everything. Right there. Cool and there's someone down through there. Oh, there was this one over to you can need points. Cross can need American Border four times in this crossing. Twice on the way there and twice on the way back. This because the water runs a big V-shape down the middle of the river. So now I'd like to welcome everyone to the United States of America. Hooray! It's the only time we cross the border with our official passport. But I'm still pretty sure they know we're here and coming. And this really hard to hide a big red car for the people crossing the middle of the border. <laughs> For those who are like a visual demonstration of how the border works, if you're looking at me now, you don't have to go, it's completely optional. Right now, I'm standing in Canada, boo, Canada. Don't worry, I don't hate my country. The only reason I'm doing it seems to post the end of my trip. First run over there, though, I'd be in America. Yay, America! Canada, boo, America, yay, and Canada, boo. I don't know why I show by myself as Americans, maybe it's because I don't get thrown overboard, or appreciate the tips that I receive. Probably really both. The air power is spent on 601 inch and the interlocking cables and it's powered by 50 horsepower. I like the motor. This electric motor did not work if you have a piece of back generator that applies back shoreline. In any case, neither of those work. However, I hope you guys know this today and it's not that you're on your own. I've been harmed for the name of your pastor for it now. It's him. If you're not him, I'm kind of blessing him. Sorry, you're something. I'm just joking. How the rest of the car is just talking about. Which is that big silver bucket back there inside our tunnel. It's just a mistake. The car was done built in 1916 in Spain by a former engineer who's a whole lot smarter than me. He had a ship dollar in the plan up to $10,000, which is around $3 million today. You may notice a big yellow ship on the right hand side over there. Also, that's the big pump is These are both in the genetics rock for the helicopter case that was moved up. As we come to the end of our journey, there's been one last final bump. It's going to dock. Again, I'm not a bad driver. I promise it's normal. Now, let's see what happens if we go down the stairs. On behalf of the Niagara Park Commission, I thank you all for coming today on the Aerocar. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride and use it too and have a good rest of your day in Niagara Falls. Thanks for my time today on my ride. Hooray! I want to clap yet, we're not back safe. If you guys like to leave a positive review, my name is Owen, but if you're going to leave a negative review, my name is not Owen, it's Joey.